It is the last map, this time for real. We have a tie in the best of five, a 2-2 score. Who would have thought it possible? Hyun here on screen, he took a 2-0 lead in the series, a 2-0, and he completely demolished first in those two games. First took a beating, but now he won two games back to back, starting here on Way Station to the bottom left, the Protoss player with a chance to take the first spot to win the Zotec Cup season final and claim the 1,002. 100 euros prize money for the first place. If that's the case, Hyun as a second place then would go home with 700 euros. Still a lot of money, but of course after leading in the series with 2-0, you don't want to only take second place, you want to win it all. So Hyun Way Station, what is Hyun gonna do? Are we gonna see that opening again with a double hatch before pool? Is first gonna show us his Stargate play again, which was so successful on the last map? on Altism Stronghold, where he took down 10 queens in total. It's a crazy world that we live in, and it's a crazy StarCraft 2 world at that. So, already the drone scout all the way to the bottom. He wants to make sure that he knows if his opponent starts with a forge or with a gateway opening. At the same time, he's gonna go for the hatch first immediately, moving right over to the natural, and then the question just being, third base or not? Even scouting a little bit down to the bottom and wants to see if there's maybe a pile or at least a hidden probe. That's something that happened in one of the earlier games. In the end, Hyun was able to win it, but still, double checking is never a bad thing. And that drone already had the scouting information on the bottom and is like, Alright, you start with the gateway. No forge for you? That's okay. And the drone making its way over to the third base location, trying to take that third that we talked about already earlier. Same build again for Hyun. It's the build that he seems to be very comfortable with going up against Protoss. Something that you have to, of course, uh, know about him here. And it's really that style that he was just executing in every single game. Not even on big maps, like small two-player maps where he just said like, yeah, I can hold this. I don't care. I can hold this. I'm, I'm fine with it. I have my timings down. I know exactly when you're going to attack me. And I'll make sure that I have the exact amount of units that I need. And then I'm going to win the game. And he showed that several times. But in the last two, it was first who claimed victory. And first it moving in again. Has the probe there trying to find out what's going on. He sees, of course, the timing with the pool. And he's like, all right, you're going to do the same thing. I'm fine with that. I kind of figured it out now. I know how to counter you. And you will have a problem. Question of course, what is first gonna do? Blink build was one successful, but it was a close one. The Phoenix build on the other hand really really gave uh, Hyun a lot of trouble, but we do not see a second gas just yet. So right now it's only the single gas that we have for first, so it's not gonna be that massive commitment to Phoenixes that we saw in one of the earlier games, at least not for now. We have to the top right, the third hatch nearly completed, queens are being built, we have drones on the way and also six zerglings, a lot more than he played in the last few games. Overlord still double checking in the main base, confirmed that the second gas is now taking. And, well, to the top right, question being, of course, what is he going to do with that Zolot? Can he get some damage done? I highly doubt it, because the Lings are going to be there in just a few seconds. Oh, Ling is trying to run away there. Didn't really get it. Probe is down. And that Zalot, on the other hand, already with a few kills here. Micro has to be good. And, yep, that's exactly what he uses there. Nice moves, though, but the problem is that the Queen is there, and that will go on. It's going to put an end to this. Can he take down another Harvester? Yeah, he can. He killed one, right? No, he didn't. He killed only four Zerglings, alright, so uh, the, in the end it's actually a win in favor of Hyun, disregarding the lava that was lost. We have two additional gateways at the front, and as I said earlier, no tech just yet. Are we going to see that fourth gate? Do we see four gateways again? Is he going for that push once more? Hyun has not taken gas. He's taken gas always a little bit late, roughly around the six minute mark. That's what we see here. Not really late, something that he definitely can pull off. Lings are running into the main base, two into the natural, one into the main base, and one in the main is gonna go down. And yeah, also here he can't really kill anything. I don't think that he expected the second sentry to be there. The Robo is being built this time. Look at that, a Robo tech right away for first. Are we gonna see Immortals? Kinda, well, we might. There's the forge being built. But Hyun already with the gas now taking can go straight into the lair tech. He can also go into the speed upgrade for the Zerglings, which currently he does not have, which he of course wants to have. We have in terms of queens, four. One being able to uh, drop creep tumors on the map. He's spreading creep towards his uh, natural and third, trying to connect the both of them. And in terms of harvesters, Hyun is of course ahead. 43 against 36, has the better income here. Overlord was scouting for a second. He did not see this robo on the other hand. 
no idea about the robotics and the robotics is done and immediately it is the war prison for now Chrono boosting the war prison we have seen some fancy play with war prisons by players like him so maybe he can pull that off again here comes the Roach one, the speed for the Lynx, the Lair Tech also started. So Hyun needs to be very, well he is very map aware. He has units everywhere that could spot that war prison. So he needs to be careful, that's exactly what he is. Because he knows that there is a huge amount of danger going on first. Who was able to take two games now back to back. And Hyun, he doesn't want to lose three games in a row. And then suddenly being only second place. He wants to claim victory here. And he's going into the additional gas. Right now only at the natural, not in the main base just yet. The lair tech is halfway completed. Overlords are being built. Not big supply blocks. And this is a touch that we've seen from first in a lot of the games already that he played, especially yesterday. Using that war prism not only for the harass, but straight going for the nexus and uh, putting that onto the island. It's something that he did against Tefl on this very map. Against Tefl it didn't work though, because Tefl really loves his Hydra and Roach pushes. And with the right Hydra and Roach push, we saw him take down first, who also followed this up with a double Stargate. But he just didn't have what it really took to make sure that he could survive the aggression of Tefl. Now this is a different game, this is a different opponent, this is a totally different scenario. Jan not going into that build that Tefl also loves. And therefore he doesn't counter what we see here right now. He also doesn't know about that third base. Tefl knew that right away because he had an overlord there. But at this point the War Prism is not really doing a lot of damage. Here comes on the other hand the Spy Attack and that alone could do quite a bit if Jan gets those extra bases. If he's only on the three bases it's very unlikely that he can match his opponent's Phoenix numbers with Mutalists and Corruptors. He needs a bit more than that. One way into the right direction is of course the macro hatch so that he can at least have the production there. But we see now Stargates being produced. Or actually like Void Rays being produced in the Stargate. And uh, did he confirm that there is a third? He didn't. He's moving in right now and he's actually double checking the third base as well. He should see what's coming. He needs to know what's going on. And he sees at least the robotics bay for now. But does he see those extra Stargates that we have? Those two in the main base? Most likely not, but he sees the double Void Ray and that alone should already tell him what's happening. Also with the third base confirmed, he can now just simply go into a fourth, which he's already doing. Could even go for a fifth base. The Changeling here is of course also taken out. But yeah, Stargates, uh, Stargates producing Void Rays and Void Rays. It's Void Ray Colossal that we're seeing here. Bit of aggression, not really aggression, just the uh, Phoenix as the Hallucinator trying to scout here. And... Hyun is trying to knock at his opponent's front door, but against Void Rays with only Roach and Zergling, that's not going to cut it. That's where Tefl really had the right composition, because he had those Hydras as well, and that worked absolutely beautifully for him. But right now, we have Hyun being pushed back a little bit. He goes for the Mutalisk, seven in total. He needs the gas over at that fourth base immediately. That's why we see him build those extractors just in time, even before the hatch is done, and that's a smart move. That's something that can really work out for him. 11 Mutalisks being built right now. We have down at the bottom a Photon Cannon also started. So first is very well aware of what's happening there. Of course he scouted, he saw what's going on, he saw that spy attack, and he knows it's going to be Mutalist. I mean, that's one of the reasons why we see the Fleet Beacon here. That upgrade for range is going to be started in just a second, and then he can really work with the Phoenixes that he is still about to build. He currently doesn't have any, but he can do that once he sees the Mutalist and really the commitment of his opponent. Two Phoenixes at a time, and the Anion Pulse Crystals are being researched. The Mutalists, on the other hand, they are trying to go over towards that third base. If they can snipe those two Photon Cannons, that would be absolutely amazing. A third one is being produced right now too, but he's gonna snipe this one first. Trying to take down a couple of Harvesters here at the Natural, baiting the Photon Overcharge, taking down the Cannon as well. No, a Cancel actually. Well done so far, but now the Mutalists 4-7 being built here, making their way in. A two cannons that's all that we have right now and he takes down even more there comes the third but the void rays are on their way as well there are too many of them too many void rays and phoenixes now too he cannot fight this just yet another base being built he's trying to just go for those clustered up mutalisk balls that then can one shot a phoenix base number five three against five bases soon to be 
cannons once again being built at that uh, expansion on the island that we have there. He needs that. But we also need corruptors. He's building them. He's going for the armor upgrades. This is very reminiscent of the game that we saw on King Sejon Station in the first best of three of the day today. Very much the same style. Hyun and First going for both for the air units. Another Spire is being built. Wow, he wants to go for the double, double upgrades. Double Spire upgrades. Wants to out upgrade his opponent and get that advantage. Spore crawlers are being built. And of course, everywhere, those hallucinated phoenixes that are just trying to find out what's going on. Look at all those links that we are currently seeing cream across the map. He wants to make sure that he knows about every single expansion that first builds. He needs that knowledge. He doesn't have the borrow upgrade, so he can't really use that yet. But we have him now with the armor upgrade, number one, with a few corruptors, with the mutalisks, and the double spire will allow him to go into the double upgrades. Whereas another thing that we are currently already seeing is, of course, that infestation pit that we highlighted a little bit earlier. Creep is being spread all across the map. Borrow upgrade now research that will allow him to borrow all these Zerglings and delay the expansions a little bit more for his opponent. Uh, might find that War Prism. Yes, he sees it. And does he really attack it? No. He doesn't, he doesn't realize that it's there. Doesn't realize it's there, but, well, he could see it on the minimap now. A couple of links are trying to bust in there, but against Colossi and the Zealot at the front, that's, of course, not going to work. The Queens and the Middlers are taking down the War Prism over here. The rest of the army is moving in, and that currently means 14, 14 Phoenixes against only 14 Corruptors. But the double upgrade should have started pretty soon. We have the double spire at least. He only has the armor upgrade that he's starting. He does not get the uh, attack upgrade, but he gets infestors. And infestors against this many phoenixes, just a single hit, a single fungal that works, and the entire phoenix army is dead meat. They would all be gone. Couple of units over here, gonna be lifted, I guess, because those phoenixes, they are out for blood, and they take down roach after roach. We have to the top, once again, a double zealot attempt moving in. Taken out already. There's the plus two attack upgrade and also the plus two armor upgrade research now for Hyani. He goes for the double upgrades. He goes for the hive tech as well. Uh, income is very good for him. He has five bases against three, as already mentioned earlier. Resources lost. Very similar for both. A thousand discrepancy, not too much, no, just a little bit. Definitely an uh, advantage for first. Oh my god. Is he gonna get it? He's gonna. Oh my god, the money fungal. Fuck my life. This is brutal! He gets the best fungal off ever! Oh my god! Holy fungal, Batman! All of those phoenixes are gone. He lost just now 17 phoenixes. You gotta be kidding me. That was beautiful. Using Burrow here and Hyun suddenly at 200 supply, 126 army supply in a great position. The mother of all fungals. Holy fungal. That was insane. That was absolutely insane that he got this one off. You got to be kidding me. <laughs> I thought that he might get a fungal off against a few phoenixes, not against all of them. And at first I would not have faulted him in the least if he would have face palmed and just left the game after that. But it's not over yet. It's not over. It's not over until the fat lady sinks. And here we go. The air battle. It has started. We have the mutilists going in. The corruptors. Oh, God. First is taking a beating here. He is dropping in supply. I mean, so is Yan. But all of those corruptors, they are not They are not stopping. They are going to take down those colossi one by one. At least I thought so. And then he only kills the hallucinated ones. Moves in right now. Takes down even more harvesters. It's just the income that we have there. This insane income for a player that has five bases against three. Moving in, taking down the cannons, taking down, uh, of course, the stalkers as well. Those phoenixes, they're trying their best. There are two phoenixes against, like, way too many corruptors. He's going up against the ground army there as well. The zealots more distraction than anything else. Dying one after another. Another set moving in towards that base over here. But there are four spine crawlers that can deal with it. We have the Mutalists moving into the bottom once again. And talking about the Mutalists, 18, 21 Mutalists, 13 Corruptors against 5 Phoenix. This is just a losing battle that he's fighting there. He's trying to stay alive. It's 115 supply against 196. Hyun 
This guy A is just crazy. The double upgrade still going strong for him. The 3-3 three, three is currently being researched. That gives him, of course, another big edge in this particular battle. He's moving in once more. Another Glossus is taken down immediately. He wants to go for those Stargates. He wants to make sure that Phoenixes are not going to be a problem any longer. He's just camping his opponent's production at this point. Going for the Stargates as well. Taking down a couple of those cannons. Getting those Phoenixes one after another. Just one-shotting them. The GG called. And the unbelievable takes it once again. Uh, proves that he is absolutely unbeatable in this series. It is Hyun. Great games by him. Absolutely amazing games. And this one fungal that won him the game was amazing. First with a great showing. Bring it us into this fifth game. Having a great comeback. But in the end, it is the Zerg player that takes the best of five and wins the Zota Cup season final. Takes home with him 1,200 euros. Congratulations to Hyun.